Hello everyone, this is Kirk Roldan and in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can make a Stripe account for non-supported countries. Yes, you heard that right because you cannot use Stripe account when you are in Philippines or other countries that are not supported. So once you have the Stripe account, you can use this for your e-commerce business, SEO business, freelancing business, and a lot of usage. That's why I'm recommending this one compared to other payment gateway, okay? If you are using stripe.com, then it's free. You don't need to pay any amount. But since we are not from the USA, then we need to pay an amount, okay? So I'm going to teach you that today so that's the difference free and paid all right now there are two methods first is a black hat method second is stripe atlas now i'm not recommending this black hat method because this strategy involves tricking stripe so you can create your own account even though you are not in the united states and here you need to have IP address to change your IP so you can register there. But in the long run, Stripe will cut you and they will suspend your account. So don't do it. And they still require you this information that you need to have before you can create a Stripe account using a method. Stripe Atlas is a paid one. So you need to pay $500 to incorporate your business or to create your business in non-supported countries. And you need to pay $100 per year for the renewal. All right. So these are all the requirements. Employer identification number or tax number. Use a phone number. Use a business address. Use bank account. So this is what I'm going to teach you right now. So first, you need to go to stripe.com slash atlas. So we don't need to go to stripe.com because we are not in the supported countries. So we need to go to the Atlas and you need to prepare all these requirements so your Stripe account will work. But the same, they are all Stripe, okay? You just register here in Atlas. First, you need to go to start your company, fill up your email address, your phone number, and also your password, okay? Just follow that one. I'm not going to show you because that is very self-explanatory. Once done, you just need to go to your email, verify that, once you're inside, this is the dashboard, guys, that you can see, okay? I'm sorry to cut you while watching my video, but if you have a brand, a business, SaaS, or any tools that you want to advertise in this section, email us at hello at kirkroldanseo.com. So for this demo purposes, I'm going to fill up everything that we can in this section. So just... Go here, incorporate your startup. Atlas is the fastest way to start your company. Imagine that even though you are not in the United States, but you still have a chance to create your business there. Now, you need to choose three. So, C, corporation, limited liability company, subsidiary. So, as an agency owner, I'm going to use limited liability company or LLC. Okay, but if you are in C corporation, then you can just click this one. But for me, this is LLC. So click this one and then just need to type your business name here. Okay. So if you have a website, your website, that is your business name. So you need to add it here. Make sure, guys, that is final because you cannot change that anymore in the future. All right. Test business name. For the test purposes, you can choose different abbreviation here like LLC. L.L.C or limited liability company, but this is very long. So I choose LLC and then need to click next. All right. This one is very important. Okay. For me, this is the most important steps among everything that you prepare. Okay. Why? Because they have a lot of restricted business category. If you will not pass with your description that you added here, then you need to reapply again, okay? But I don't think they will allow you to pass for a couple of times you 
failed. Once your business mark as spam or restricted, then they will not allow you to register here again. So make sure you will not have a problem in this section. Even your business is not in the restricted list because you added correctly, you read carefully the restricted category and you're not there. But then again, they're very strict. No? They will likely to still remove you from their list and they won't allow you to use Stripe. So I want you to carefully check your description that you added here. But then follow the restricted business category. Even you follow a good description, just make it more clear, concise, simple, short, not very long. So check this one. So they don't want illegal drugs, marketing certain products for minors, unauthorized financial service, this one adult, they have created services, a lot, all right? So check this one and this general list of prohibited businesses. So they are updating it last June 2024. So take note guys that you're following here. But if your business is SEO, then it's good. But then again, same to what I said earlier, make it very clear about your service don't just say i offer seo services but make it more into consulting part because they are very strict next add your website here now this section right here guys they will manually check that the description that you added here and also the website that you added here this is very important that you need to add your domain name okay or business domain name don't write a chat gpt company description because they will check it okay for this demo purposes, I'm going to add a generic one just to pass this section. Okay, so let's add a date. I guess we can move to a different section without following everything here. But just a date here, your date of birth. Now, this is your home address. So, for example, we are in the Philippines. It's fine. You can still create your Stripe Atlas account even though you add Philippines here. So, just be honest, guys, okay? Because we don't know sooner or later they will ask for your verification for your real address in Philippines. Then you can have a problem if you cannot provide the business info that you added here. So make it sure they are correct. If you have a co-founder or this is a partnership, just add your co-founder here. But if alone, then no need to worry with that one. So we cannot go to this section without adding the information here. Now this section is very self-explanatory. You can just follow that one. And this one, this is not a problem section. But here, we need to follow all the instructions, okay? So first, as I said earlier, we need this requirement. You need to have your 500 US dollar yearly renewal, employer identification number or EIN or tax number, USA phone number, USA business address, and USA bank account. Okay, this section right here is very important as well that you add it correctly. So company tax ID or EIN or employer identification number. So they will help you have or create your EIN. They will go to the IRS and file your business so you can have your EIN. Okay. And now you can read this one, guys. So if you have a U.S. company address, U.S. phone number and SSN, it will only take one to two days. But. If you don't have them, like a U.S. phone number, a U.S. address, and an SSN, that could take you three to five weeks. So right here, they recommended this one, stable, but they're too much, like $49 per month. So this U.S. address or U.S. virtual address is very important. So you can receive your mailing address, like if you have mail, and you can also have your own virtual business address that you can say it's your own because you can also receive mails or fax or anything like that so i'm not recommending this one because it's 49 per month so my suggestion is ipostal1.com as you can compare the rate virtual business address or virtual mailing address so if you're only going to use this for mailing and this is only the rate 9.99 per month but if it's for virtual business address like a real business address virtually then the rate is 14.99 so you can see the difference from 49 per month to 14.99 per month so you just need to sign this one and everything that that it's added here will be yours as well 
But for mailing purposes only, you can try this one as well. So yeah, I have ipostalone.com. I use that for my business. Maybe I can create a separate video for this one on how we can use this for your business as well. Later on, on my next videos, just check that one. So once you're here, follow the process, guys. And then plans and pricing. It's very self-explanatory, okay? Once done, you will receive your business info right away. Now, once it's done, then you need to add the information that states there, okay? The address, the states, the zip code. Now, we are not done yet. As you can see here, we still need to have this EIN. They will file that for us, uh, Stripe Atlas. Use a phone number. This is the next one that we need to get. Imagine that you already have this one. Okay, so right now we need to go to open phone. So they recommend open phone. You can try this one if you want, guys. I also recommend Dington. So Dington is very cheap compared to this one. So let's go to this prices, $15 per month or $23, but starter is fine. So let's go to Dington. They're very cheap, guys. So this is for calling. But if phone number, let's go here. I need to install it but yeah it's, they are very cheap so you can install it to your mobile app i don't need to do it now but you can go to dington.com and get your phone number once it's done just add it here and then you don't have an ssn guys because you are not living in united states so just check i don't have an ssn and then once it's done just click next so we can proceed here because we don't have any phone number but yeah just follow the process here click next and last section is the payment section so that part you will need to pay stripe atlas before they will process your llc they will register your business there your llc and you will get your ein and also registered stripe.com account so after that you can use it for your business but it's not ended there because you will still need this use a bank account so how can i get you as a bank account now stripe will also recommend you if you already have this ein and llc for your business they will also recommend you to register or sign up in mercury but you can also try to use pioneer that's an alternative or wise so just watch my other videos because i also created how you can have your usa bank account even though you are here in the philippines or other countries okay so that's it hopefully you can have a successful stripe account registration and see you on my next videos take care have a great day bye, -bye.